Hey collectors, Anthony from Hasnet here, and today we're taking a look at uh, a group of Dragon Ball Z Bandai figures from the mid 90s. And of course, these are all the Z fighters, short of the main characters of the series. And we start from the left. We got Chiaotsu, we got Tien, we got uh, Yajirobe, we got Yamcha, Poor, Krillin, Master Roshi, Turtle, and Piccolo. And uh, these range from different parts of the series, from like earlier waves to later waves. Uh, something I learned going through these figures is that uh, non-fighting characters get less articulation, while um, fighting characters get more articulation, which I, I guess makes sense. Uh, plus, they do a number of pack-ins, so like Yamcha got poor, uh, Chiaotzu uh, and Tien came together in a two-pack, um, Yajirobe got uh, Korin, and uh, so, you know, they, they do different things. Uh, obviously, I think Turtle came with Roshi, so, you know, but let, let's start the side here, and this. So this is Chiatsu. The hat comes off. It just uh, pegs onto here. And uh, it's just a typical Chinese sun hat. And uh, yeah, it's just a very basic character. Or should I say basic character? Uh, basic figure. Universal joint, but it really doesn't go very far because of his, uh, his coverings on his arm. And then, of course, the legs. Um, head movement. Yeah, he got, it got a little bit. So, I mean, he's fine-ish. I'm going to keep him over here. He's so hard to stand up. Then we get to uh, Tien, and uh, he has universal joints. Um, his cape does come off, so we can take that off so we can see more. Uh, and he has mid-elbow range. He has head. So he has the later edition of two things. He has the full neck movement, left and right, up and down. But he also has, like, the shading, which is something they did near the end of the series. Uh, because of his uh, uh, gi, he can't bend his leg forward more or back, but he can still bend his knee, but he has no ankle articulation. They traded off certain th features for um, certain other features, I guess, to keep the price the same, because these figures barely change price. Uh, I think, like, gimmick ones maybe cost a little bit more, but, uh, yeah, it's just uh, the way they happen to do it in this particular uh, series, uh, just to keep the prices where they were. Uh, Yadrobi, a nine fighting character, of course, his, he has the universal joint in his arms, he's all the way around, his, his hair is just in the waist, so there's no head, uh, very limited uh, waist, um, yeah, his pants is kind of just friction on there, uh, actually, I don't think he has waist at all, I think it's just his, um, his lower um, skirt, I guess, uh, leg barely moves, uh, you kind of have to put him all the way back to get him to stand up, uh, so that, that's it for Yadrobi, nothing too fancy, I don't know what he's looking at, I don't, I don't see what he's looking at, anyway, so, uh, Turtle doesn't even action figure anything. He, he has no points of articulation. He's just, he's Turtle. Although it reminds me, like, oh, now his pants fall. Uh, yeah, it, it feels like the same plastic. Okay, uh, it's like just some things you can kind of tell where it came from, different plastics. Uh, this is a harder plastic than the bottom is, a little softer plastic. Uh, so, yeah, you can kind of tell that it, it glued one thing onto the other. Uh, poor... Uh, a little floaty cat uh, ship shafter. I swear there was a oolong somewhere around here. I did not find him. Although Gildo's also missing too, so who knows wherever they are. Um, has a very ditto face on. <laughs> uh, so we get to Yamcha. And uh, I don't know what my little brother was decorating Yamcha for, but um, these are, of course, his figures. They've been put away for a long time. Yamcha's wearing a dress suit. I think this is his pro baseball era. Um... Just a regular joint here, our elbow bend, head turns. So this was like the next to last series of articulation. Get the knee bend, although he didn't have the ankle. It's very weird, but I guess because he's wearing pants, they didn't want to break that up. Um, but I mean, he has like a pretty chipper face on him. Um, and he does have a scar across his eye. I don't know how well you can see that. Uh, but the scar is there. And then we get to, let's say Roshi next. Uh, Roshi, again, a non-fighting character, um, very basic movement, uh, just up and down, no hand movement. Uh, he does this for some reason. Um, not in the face, not in the face. Okay, anyway, head head rotation. Uh, arm, uh, legs are just straight up, up, back and forth. There's nothing else going on. Uh, so, I mean, Roshi looks cool enough. I, I don't remember when he wore this. I think martial arts tournament, maybe. Um, but, yeah, it's decent enough looking. Krillin. So they did Krillin a few times, and this is the more articulated version from later in the series. Uh, he got the knee bend, he got the universal arms, uh, head turn, he got waist. Um, frankly, I, I think if they would have stayed with this type of 
like leg, bend, knee, arm, and then maybe a mid arm and head. I think I'd be happy with with the figures all being the same. And you don't have to do all that stupid detail they did in the later series or the cartoony looks that they did in some of these. I just I, I they tried different things, I guess, to you know perk up the sales, but you know whatever. Soft goods. This is Piccolo. He has a soft goods uh, cape. I'm not going to try to take it off. Uh, it's been on him for years. It's going to stay on him. Universal joints. He has a mid-arm because he's a larger figure. Uh, he has head rotation. Uh, he does not have the up and down. I thought he might because of uh, where he comes in, in the series. Uh, but he does... Okay, so he's next to last because he has ankle uh, turning. But he also has... This is like a damaged one, by the way, I should say. This is damaging they added. This isn't... He's not damaged as a figure. Uh, but he has a nice bend. He got waist. And as you can see, this is soft good, but here's what he looks like on the back side here. So, I mean, pretty neat. Uh, it's it's a, a nice line. I just wish there was consistency between waves. With that said, tell me in the comments your thoughts on these items. Did you get them? And how was your experience with them? Thanks for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe.